What's going on everyone? I'm home alone like Kevin, so you know I gotta get into some mischief. Got this new beauty for my girl. Gotta take it out and see. See what it can do. And check out the southern nature area. Threw together the quick travel kit. Spare Rock Brothers. Water bottle. Phone holder you see. Kit. Surprise loudspeaker. Let's get to it. Alright y'all. We made it to the barrier. No, I just have to figure a way in. This is right by the Lost Trail entrance from a previous video on the Frigo F1 Pro. So far, I'm liking this Ingui E26. It's fast and powerful, and it's pretty cheap. 1200 bucks. 16 amp hour, 750 watts, 1000 watt boost, came with the rack, pretty nice so far, alright, let's try and find the entrance, alright, so now this is the complete other side of where I just was. I'm gonna still see if I can get around through here somehow. They're doing some lawn maintenance, but they're contractors, so I don't think they're gonna say anything. They're not counting. This place wasn't here a few months ago. But it looks like it wraps right around that area. Let's see what I can find. All right, y'all. It looks like even if I get on the equestrian trail, there's a double fence. So I don't know what to do. Now I'm on the boardwalk. I found an entrance. See all those birds? I don't know. It's a nice day. It's getting hot, though. All right, here I am, we got the, back in the swamp. This is a neat place. Osprey or hawk. Uh -oh. Looks like a couple kinds of birds over there. All right, now, to the Ingui E26. This is a great bike. So far, I got like, I don't know, 15 miles on it. But I've got thousands of e bike miles now. And this thing, it's like a pickup truck. I don't know. It feels like a sporty pickup truck, like an F 150 with a V8. It's powerful, it doesn't feel extra heavy feels nimble the brakes are really good it's got hydraulic 180 millimeter rotors 750 watts nominal thousand boost and it's there you can feel it the pedaling is good the seat is good the suspension seat post I don't know I don't hate it it definitely takes some getting used to the only thing I don't like about this bike so far is the controls. The twist throttle is horrible, the grips are horrible, but at this price point they have to cut corners somewhere and that's the only spot I see is the the grips and the controls are eh. The stem, I hate it but I'm sure people like it for adjustment so I'm going to change it. The headlight is bright. I like the big headlight. The fork is acceptable. It's in the good range for e-bikes that I've that I've used and even though this is a thousand dollars, twelve hundred by the time you get it home, it's still a budget bike. 
in the e-bike category. Metal fenders. I don't know if I like those yet. They make noise on the dirt road, but steel is real. The frame is aluminum, 6061. It feels really good. The welds are, I mean, they're acceptable. It's not a, it's not a specialized or a canyon. It's good. It's, I mean, it's good. I don't think you'll be disappointed with this bike. I want to do a true range test with it while pedaling. Because we got this to be a long range and pedaling bike. 16 amp hour battery. It comes with a 3 amp charger. I was happy for that. But so far I like this bike and I would recommend it. The shipping was fast. It took like 3 days, 4 days. Assembly, a standard bike. Put the front wheel on, adjust the brakes, handlebars, go. I wish the battery had more charge. Every other one else I see looks like they're not just this bike, every other bike comes with more charge than mine, but whatever, that's, that's petty. Good bike. So far, I would recommend it. All right. Kept going around and following the trails and the pass, and lo and behold, an entrance right in the back of this football field. I guess I'm going to check it out a little bit. Back to the Ingui. It's got the Shimano Tierney tried and true workhorse seven speed drivetrain that I've grown to love and respect. They're loud. They're clunky, but on e-bikes they just work. There's not a lot of stress on them because the motor is in the hub doing a lot of work. And this is an old tried and true design. It was top of the line when it was new, and it's still good. And these shifters, I used to, on a regular mountain bike, never. On an e-bike, the best. Yep, so far I'm liking this bike. I'm about to really test it now. See what it can do out there. Oh man, that was nuts. Probably a mistake. But I just busted out of stuff like that. So the thing's got it. If you're trying to get into e-bikes for under 1500 I recommend this on PayPal payment. Angui E26. Good deal. Alright y'all. Back here at the dog pound. With the Angui E26. We did 23 miles today. On almost all throttle. I couldn't pedal. I wanted to do a real pedal test range. But range test. But. The derailleur needs to be adjusted, which is surprising, but no big deal. So we did 23 miles, mostly throttle, about 24 miles an hour average. And it held that. A lot of bikes start dropping their speed off. Like my Romeo, it goes 32 at first, but it doesn't take it long before it's 28. And that has a 60 amp hour battery. This held 24 the whole time. So that's pretty good. The seat, not bad. Definitely good for a factory seat. It might get changed out though. Definitely the main thing I don't like is the grips and the twist throttle. I hate it. As you can see. 22.9 call it 23 miles one bar left I'd say it probably could do at least 30 maybe more definitely 30 all throttle and I've been in the woods so maybe even more than that I think for the price point you can't beat this the brakes are amazing this thing stops on a dime just says mineral oil. If they're hydraulic, they work. Man, do they work. 
make sure you clean your rotors on your new bikes. That will help your brakes. Clean the rotors before you ride. Also, if you want people to look at you, this is the bike. If you don't want it, don't get this bike. I saw people snapping their heads at this thing. It looks great. The metal fenders are, I mean, they're good and bad. Probably have to replace this one. It makes a little noise. We got a lot of rocks, a lot of off-roading on this bike, so we'll see. But Ingui E26, so far, really liking this bike. Hard to beat for the price. Thanks for watching.